Uh, hello, I'm Dr. Adam Melvin. Uh, I'm an associate professor in the Kane Department of Chemical Engineering. And so today I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the lab. Uh, so my lab is very applied. Uh, we do a lot of uh, tool development. So we make novel bioanalytical tools uh, to study several different biological systems. The main focus being cancer and cancer metastasis and cancer diagnostics. But we also have projects related to algae as well as biofilms. And so what I'm gonna take you through the lab today and show you some of the different technologies we use and some of the stuff that um, we're developing. And so I'll take this to the guided tour. Alrighty, uh, so we start over here. So here is the lab. And so we're first gonna go over to our uh, fume hood where we're gonna see Hannah here. Hannah's actually working on fabricating a, a silicon wafer that we use for making microfluidic devices. And so these are the first steps in the sulfathography process where she's uh, soon gonna turn on a vacuum pump, which is too loud, which is why it's not on right now. And then she's gonna deposit a uh, thin layer of a photoreactive polymer, which we then can actually put into our UV exposure box so that we can start making some of the master molds uh, that we use for making uh, the suite of the microfluidic devices. And we'll show you some of these devices in just a second. And so then we come over here. And so you see, we've got a nice beautiful view of Tiger Stadium. And so here we come to Stephanie. And so what Stephanie's doing is she's checking her cells. Uh, she's growing some um, MDA MB uh, 231 triple negative breast cancer cells uh, for a project that we use uh, looking at co culturing cancer cells and stromal cells. And so we culture the cells. Then we go over to the lab and then we're actually going to see Ali, one of our graduate students. He's actually currently uh, culturing cells. And so Ali's culturing suspension cells, specifically multiple myeloma. It's a different type of cancer uh, that affects uh, the immune cells. And so Ali's project is focused on developing uh, peptide-based biosensors to actually evaluate uh, enzyme activity. Uh, but that occurs in very, very uh, small volumes. And so we're not gonna be able to show you that, but we see Ali right now, he's transferring some of those cells, uh, which we actually end up culturing over here in our incubators. And so then we come over here to Andrew, one of our undergraduate students. So Andrew is currently working on one of the downstream steps in the microfluidic device where he's already made the silicon wafer that we saw that Hannah was making. And he's made uh, what's called a PDMS replica or polydimethyl siloxane. It's a flexible, transparent polymer. You see it right there. And so what Andrew's doing right now is cutting the holes uh, that we use to connect it to tubing so that we can actually make continuous flow systems. Andrew's device consists of three parallel channels to actually co-culture, again, cancer cells and stromal cells. But specifically, his device is designed to pull some of the media so we can actually look at how cells talk to each other. So like people use words, cells use proteins. And so Andrew's device is gonna be um, used to actually identify those. And so then we continue and we go through here into our microscope room. But before we get to the microscope room, we see Emmeline. And so Emmeline is here working on one of our uh, two 3D printers where we are printing uh, novel technologies. And so we see some of the devices up here where we actually will make um, inserts uh, for the co-culture projects. And we also have another project in which we 3D print uh, devices to study cell migration. And so we zoom in right here and we see science in action. And so then we come through and we go into our microscope room and we see Anwar, another one of our graduate students. And so Anwar's project is working on developing a microfluidic device to study uh, 3D cell culture. And so what he's done is he's trapped a bunch of cells in a hydrogel scaffold that he developed and they actually grew into these 3D spheroids. And so if we look really closely, what Anwar has is little tiny tumors that he's grown on a device. Is this the 300 or the 150? 300. So these are uh, up to 300 microns wide. And so Anwar's device is used uh, to specifically study how drugs affect cancer with respect to mass transfer limitations. And so these little mini tumors, which Anwar grows in our droplet microfluidic device and cultures, gives them a chance to screen uh, for biological activity and drugs. So thank you, Anwar. And so then we can go back into the lab. Again, and we see our students working. And so we'll turn it back around. All right, uh, so thank you for taking the time and watching the video. Uh, hopefully it was informative. Uh, see some of the cool stuff we have here, making peptide-based bio reporters, uh, peptide-based therapeutics, or a suite of different microfluidic devices to study how cells uh, grow, how cells communicate, how cells migrate, and how cells respond to different aspects of the metastatic cascade. Um, Please, if you have any questions, visit my website. You can learn more about the projects and some of the stuff we have going on. And please reach out to me, melvin at lsu.edu, if you have any questions or want to learn more. Thank you.